Hey guys! Everyone likes scratch off cards, so today I'm showing you different ways to make them from scratch. Here are the materials and let's get started. First I wanted to test which paint works best. Most DIYs that I have seen use acrylic paint mixed with dishwashing liquid. But when I compare it to pure acrylic paint, I didn't feel a difference. I would go for one thick layer of pure acrylic paint instead. But let's compare it to the watercolor now. So the watercolor comes off very easily, you barely need any pressure. It is more dusty and less flaky. I think optically it does look better and more smooth than the rest. All in all I prefer watercolors, but of course you can choose whatever you like. Now let's make some scratch off cards. So I'm starting off with a piece of plastic. Next you will need some paper and I'm going to make it the same size as the plastic piece. Now you can write whatever you want on your ticket. And now, to connect the plastic with the paper, you can either use some nice looking tape or you use normal tape and cover it up with paper. Next I'm cutting some paper strips. One strip for each side and I'm folding them in half. Well, kind of. I'm just using a glue stick to glue the paper in place. Now to my favorite part, making the scratchy area. I happen to have silver watercolor, but you can use any color you want. You can either freehand the paint, or you can make a border using masking tape. And then you just need to load your brush with a lot of pigment. If this happens, it's too much water. Just swirl it around a lot, and it should go on nicely. The cool thing about watercolors is you only need one coat, in fact you cannot do more than one coat, <laughs> and it dries really smoothly. You don't need to worry about streaks or anything. And don't worry if it's not perfect because technically you can scratch anything off. And now you just need to let it dry. I think it took about 15 minutes and I will peel off the masking tape. Ooh. And after removing all the dust, this is what it looks like. If you want, you can also tape a coin to the card and you're ready to scratch. Another option is to cover your design in tape. I would recommend to test your tape first, because I've had some that didn't work, but most tapes are fine. This time I'm covering my design with watercolors first, and then I'm cutting it out. Sometimes it's better to dab on the paint instead of doing it in strokes. I used thinner paper so I could see through it, and I cut out the symbols. Another reason I chose thinner paper is so I can see which side is the right side up and I'm just using a glue stick to glue my symbols to the lottery ticket. Okay, let's test them out. It's just as satisfying as a store-bought ticket. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. 